whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's whiskey ramblings. Now, with this lockdown, we are unable to go to Isla. There is going to be no Isla Malta Music Festival this year. There is going to be no face shield. So, if we cannot go to Isla, then maybe I will have to bring Isla to you. Now, one of the fun things of going on holiday is shopping in the duty free, of course. And when I was last on holiday, that was in Austria on a ski holiday right before the corona crisis really became a pandemic um, I found this in the duty free this brand new uh, Lagavulin 10 years old a travel retail exclusive and I found it for a fair price I paid around 55 euros I think so I had to take it home uh, take it with me now you know that the Lagavulin 16 years old is a staple whiskey it should be in everyone's whiskey cabinet that's a quintessential Isla and then in 2016 they launched an eight years old half the age almost the same price uh, to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the distillery and then there was a new uh, Lagavulin in the famous uh, or should I say infamous Game of Thrones series but now they have this 10 years old which is a uh, travel retail exclusive and for the first time I see that they put on the label a couple of words to describe the whiskey in this case it says smooth intense smoky and warming anyway this is a a 10 years old duty-free exclusive bottled at 43 percent ABV I had to take it home because in my opinion Lagavulin you can hardly go wrong with that quintessential Isla and will you look at that color a beautiful full golden color clings to the glass look at that look at those big fat tears coming down the glass meaning that this is going to be a full bodied malt so an old golden full bodied Lagavulin 10 years old at 43% ABV on the nose yep typical Lagavulin I get smoke tar ashes some kelp some some smoldering wood but also lovely notes of finger paint really it's not an off note finger paint throws me back to when I was a kid but it's up also with some honey and some almonds and even some apricots and lemon and then I get some pencil lead as well well it's textbook textbook like a woolen indeed and it's absolutely delicious but but there is a but it's a bit docile if you don't mind me saying so now, there's nothing wrong with that anyway but it's a bit it's not as it's not as in your face as the 16 years old it's more civilized more delicate maybe but still a textbook delicious lagavulin nose on the palate mm. now the sweetness comes first yeah, first the sweetness and next to the citrus I also get some some orchard fruit apples pears that's a bit weird and suddenly the smoke becomes quite big Wow yeah and now I get those typical ashes I get some walnuts and some sea salt as well and maybe even a bit of camphor that's a nice spiciness too yeah that's more like it the nose was rather docile but on the palate it's here I am Lagavulin on the finish then Mm. the finish is pretty long quite peppery and I get a hint of candied orange peel finish is quite intense lovely well I would say I'd rate this slightly above the eight years old Oop, that's the wind for you I would rate this slightly above the eight years old um, that was bottled for the 200th anniversary it's also a bit more enjoyable to me at least than the nine years old for the Game of Thrones series but still this is still not the classic 16 years old let alone the special 12 years old that is released every year at cask strength but nevertheless this is a lovely lovely Lagavulin at a reasonable strength for a very fair price like I said Lagavulin you can't go wrong and that's all for this whiskey rambling and I hope to see you at one of Mark's whiskey ramblings real soon and until then may the mob be with you